Well, hello. This is John Bona with the story of Liberty. Her name was Isabel Bumphrey. In 1843, she heard a voice from heaven and began telling people of God's truth and his plan for salvation. She was born in 1797. You know, at the age of 46, she gave herself a new name, Sojourner Truth believing this to be on the instructions from the Holy Spirit, and she became a traveling preacher. That's the meaning of her new name. Truth was born into slavery in New York. She was one of 10 or 12 children, and in 1806 she was sold at an auction when she was just nine years old. It was included with the flock of sheep for $100. Her new owner was a man whom Truth remembered as being harsh and violent. He didn't treat her very well. She was actually sold twice over the following two years, finally coming to reside on the property of John Dumont in West Park, New York. It was during these years that Truth learned to speak English for the first time. She escaped with her infant daughter to freedom in 1826 at the age of 29. She had to leave other children behind because they were not legally freed in the Emancipation Order until they had served as bound servants into their 20s. She later said, I did not run off, for I thought that wicked, but I walked off, believing that to be all right. She found her way to the home of Isaac and Marie Van Wagner, who took her and her baby in. They treated her kindly, and she lived there until the State of New York Emancipation Act was approved a year later. The story goes that Truth had a life-changing experience. During her stay with the Van Wagner, she became a devout Christian. She loved God, she loved Christ, and she loved reading the Bible. And so in 1829, she moved with her young son, Peter, to New York City, where she worked as a housekeeper for a Christian evangelist, Elijah Pearson. She said, the Spirit calls me and I must go. She became a Methodist, and she left to make her way traveling and preaching the good news and talking about the abolition of slavery. Over the next decade, Truth spoke before dozens, perhaps hundreds of audiences. In the 1840s, she connected with the abolitionist movement, becoming a popular speaker in that time. And in 1850, she also began speaking on women's rights. Her most famous speech, Ain't I a Woman, was given in 1851 at a women's rights convention in Ohio. During the Civil War, she actually met with President Abraham Lincoln, too. Sojourner Truth has been honored in many ways over the years. There is actually a memorial stone in the Stone History Tower in Monument Park, downtown Battle Creek. She said, I set up my banner where I go and then I sing. And folks always come around me, and then I tell them about Jesus. She went home to be with the Lord around Thanksgiving Day in 1883. Sojourner Truth would begin her messages by saying, Children, I talk to God, and God talks to me. There was the life of a wonderful lady, Isabel Bumphrey, who changed her name to Sojourner Truth.